Hello everybody. I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back for another lesson in the process of learning the English language. Welcome back to Abdel's lessons. Today's lesson is about relative clauses. Menu of the lesson. Today's lesson falls into four parts. Relative pronouns, rules, defining versus non-defining relative clauses, and practice. Relative pronouns. One, who. It is used for people. For example, a girl who swims well. A girl is a person. Two, which. Which is used for things. For instance, a house which has four bedrooms. A house is an object. Three, that. That is used for both people and things. Examples here. A girl that swims well. So we can substitute who? With that another example a house that has four bedrooms so here a girl is a person and a house is an object Four. whose whose is used to talk about possession what we own what, what we possess what we have a man whose wife sings huh the wife of the man whose wife a country whose population lives well whose population the population of the country rule who for people as we said look at this situation the boy is my brother he answered the phone we can join the two sentences using who. Look, the boy who answered the phone is my brother. So, who answered the phone is a relative clause. Another situation, still a relative pronouns for people. Look at the situation. The man is a soldier. You met him outside. Now, him is the object of met. Therefore, we can join by, we prefer whom, by saying, the man whom you met outside is a soldier. This is more correct. However, we can substitute whom by who, and we say, the man who you met outside is a soldier. At the end of this lesson, I shall have a, dis a discussion Comparing who and whom. Whose. Whose can be used both for people and animals and things. Here we are going just to talk about people. Look at the situation. Bon Jovi is a musician. His music I enjoy listening to. His is a possessive adjective. So his music, the music of Bon Jovi. Therefore, we can join by saying, Bon Jovi is a musician whose music I enjoy listening to. Remember, whose is always followed by a noun, and that noun must be possessed by the subject of the sentence. Which? Which is used for things? Look at this, this example. Pompeii is a famous city. It was destroyed by a volcano. It, that's the pronoun replacing or referring to Pompeii. So we join by saying, Pompeii is a famous city which was destroyed by a volcano. Who's for things? 
Look at this situation. I'm reading a book. Each title I have forgotten. Each is a possessive adjective that refers to the book. So we join by saying, I'm reading a book whose title I have forgotten. Once again, remember that whose is followed by a noun. Here, title, the title of the book. Defining versus non-defining relative clauses. Defining. Look at this situation. That's at an interview. Of course, at an interview, um, we interview many people. Now, this one says, I can speak five languages. Later on, the human resource manager says, I've just hired a secretary who can speak five languages. The one who can speak five languages. So who? That's the relative pronoun. Who can speak five languages is a defining relative clause. It tells us which person or thing the speaker is talking about. Here, which person? The one who speaks five languages. And this means that the others probably don't speak five languages. We define which person actually. Non-defining relative clauses. Situation. Anne and Tim work in the same office. They are good friends. We join by saying, Anne and Tim, who are good friends, work in the same office. So here, who are good friends is a non-defining relative clause. We already know who or what the speaker is talking about. We have their proper names. The clause just gives extra information and it should be between commas. Now let's better understand the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Look at these two people, June and James, and try to answer the question, this one. Who has more than one sister, June or James? Let's read about James. James's sister, no commas, who lives in London is a real hard worker. We don't have commas there. About June's sister, June's sister Comma, who lives in Paris, comma, plays golf very well. So according to you, why do we have two commas? Well, yes, because we just add extra information. We know that June has got only one sister, the one who lives in Paris. So who has more than one sister? Of course, James, that's the answer to the question. Because we give, you know, important information there, necessary information. The one who lives in London. So we understand he has got other sisters who probably live somewhere else. So why we don't put commas? Because it's necessary, it's defining. We need that relative clause to specify which of his sister we, sisters we are talking about. And definitely here, the one who lives in London. Practice. Combine the two sentences into one. One. A boy had an accident. He's in hospital now. How can you join them using a relative pronoun? Ah, oh, that's right. The boy who or that had an accident is in hospital now. We want to define which boy? The one who had an accident. Number two. A girl helped me. She was nice and calm. How can you join this, these two sentences? Ah, oh, great. The girl who or that Helped me was nice and calm. So which girl? The one who helped me. Three. I was given a dog. It's big and very ugly. I hear it's an animal. So we use either that or which. 
the dog and that's the answer yes the dog that or which I was given is big and very ugly number four we saw a film it was extremely boring how can you join them super the film that or which we saw was extremely boring go on join the two sentences in each situation using a relative pronoun ah, it's your turn leave your answers as comments down the video follow up the difference between who and whom look at this example john is my friend he wants to be a pilot we join by saying john who wants to be a pilot is my friend now here in this sentence john is a subject that's why we say who who goes with the subject john is my friend it's a subject and he wants to be a pilot he is also a subject so john who wants to be a pilot is my friend we cannot put whom there look at this situation now john is my friend i met him at the airport oh i met him i met him him is an object therefore we join by saying john whom i met at the airport is my friend so we use whom when it is object of a verb i met him him is the object of course we can replace whom by who but the opposite is not correct we can say john who i met at the airport is my friend but in the first example we cannot say john whom wants to be a pilot is my friend no this is not correct so who can replace whom but whom cannot replace who this is it for today of course there are other relative pronouns the one for places where another one for time when and another one for reason why which will be the content of the next lesson just expect it thank you very much for listening to me and once more tata for now